Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting edition of Industrial Valco University, where you can get your PVF degree for free. Today, we're going to be talking about the flange family. Now, not necessarily the black sheep of the flanges, but more like the lame, kind of unpopular, but still kind of has a purpose, brother to the flanges. For example, if Eli and Peyton are the weld neck and blind flange of the Manning family, then brother Cooper would be more like the orifice plate of the Mannings. I mean, he still has a purpose, but just not as useful or cool as throwing footballs and winning Super Bowls. So today we're gonna go over the other Cooper Mannings of the flange family. With those being orifice flanges, long weld necks, spectacle and T-handle blinds, spacer flanges, orifice plates, and the bleed ring. An orifice flange is used instead of a traditional flange when an orifice plate or a flow nozzle is going to be installed. Pairs of pressure taps, mostly on two sides, directly opposite of each other, and are machined into the orifice flange. The taps are often used for pressure and flow monitoring equipment. A long weld neck flange, or a LWN, is similar to a standard weld neck flange, but the neck is considerably longer, and there's no bevel at the end. Some of the uses of this flange is a nozzle connection and as a connection into a tank or pressure vessel. Not to mention, really great for a ring toss practice for the county fair. You going this year? I am, see you there. All right, put that back. Next, we're going to talk about the spectacle and the T-handle blinds. Now, these are made to be mounted between two flanges. The purpose of these blinds are so that the field technician can be sure that the equipment is properly and securely blocked off with no possibility of any flow or leakage through a valve during maintenance. The pressure flow has to be shut off and pressure relieved prior to loosening flange bolts and swinging the blind. All right, let's talk about spacer. Flanges. The spacer flange is literally used as a spacer. And by literally, I mean literally, like in 2010 when it meant the exact meaning of literal. Um, simply enough, the spacer flange is used when you need more space. So say, for example, you're using a gate valve and then you decided to use a butterfly valve. Now, the differences on the outside diameter from a gate valve to a butterfly valve is going to be quite different. That's where you use a spacer flange which we machine from a flat face slip-on, tapering the hub, making it perfectly flat on both sides. Orifice plates are designed so you can restrict the flow and achieve the desired drop by restricting the flow through a small opening. Now you'll of course not see a small hole in this one. That's because the holes are made to order depending on the size the customer needs. The orifice plate is made of a durable metal such as stainless steel like the one you see here. All right, class, the last item we're gonna talk about today is the bleed ring. A bleed ring can provide a beneficial way of draining piping, taking samples, attaching instruments, or even bleeding of a valve. They also can be used with a valve or a blind flange, which allows you to reduce the pressure before you remove the flange. Well, there you go. You've now been introduced to all the lesser known members of the flange family, which leads us to today's episode of did you know? Industrial Valco University presents Did You Know? Did you know the maligned and often forgot Cooper Manning actually has a son that might be better than the dad and both other brothers? Arch Manning was honored as the National Freshman of the Year by Max Preps as he started varsity as a freshman and threw for a whopping 2,407 yards and 34 touchdowns. So I guess Cooper Manning isn't completely useless after all. Who would have guessed? Anyways, uh, we're at the end of class, so we're gonna do a quick review. Today we talked about the other more specialized members of the flange family. We talked about the orifice flanges and their purpose, why we need to have long weld neck flanges, and the difference between a long and standard weld neck, the uses of spectacle and T-handle test blinds, how a spacing flange and how an orifice plate work, also the uses of a bleed ring. All right, we have a few moments left so we can do some viewer email. I always like to know kind of some feedback of what you're getting out of the classes. And so let's read today's. It says, uh, Professor Jim, love your class sessions. You are the man. Thank you. Hey, this might be a little more personal question, but I was really wondering 
It seems like you have really small sized hands. Is it hard to move the PVF around with such small sized hands? Yours forever, Jeff Humphrey, Sugar Hill Supply, PS, keep on trucking. Huh, that's interesting. I've never really thought about it, to be honest with you. But uh, let's see, compared to this orifice flange right here, it looks like everything's kind of normal. I mean, these are normal hand sizes. Not quite sure what you mean by that, but uh, I guess, sure, whatever. So again, I don't know why anyone would think I don't have normal sized hands. Sorry, I got a little itch on the eye and beard. But, um, you know, in fact, I shook Donald Trump's hands once and uh, I think my hands were bigger. So I think uh, if that's the way it works, I got pretty normal sized hands. Anyways, whether you have big hands, small hands, but your hands need to get on some of this PVF we talked about, go to iValco.com. We have 25,000 line items just waiting for you. Have a great day, everybody. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you do not miss a class. Also, be sure to go to iValco.com where you can get more information and resources for the items that you saw and also have the opportunity to purchase these items with our 24 seven online ordering. Also, be sure to visit our partners at the American Supply Association or ASA.net for additional training and courses that are tailored for all areas of the supply chain management.